Hi, I'm Mike Stanton with Build America Mutual. I'm here with Chris Flossie from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. It's November 1st, and this is the BAM Weekly Update. Uh, Chris, thanks for joining us this week. Let's start in the markets. Uh, there was a lot of news, a lot of uh, action in the interest rate markets. Uh, where do we end up the week? Um, this week, all eyes were on the Fed as they cut target interest rates by 25 basis points. This resulted in lower interest rates in U.S. markets and some underperformance in the muni space. Uh, today, we actually had some positive numbers on the economic front with job numbers, uh, which seems to have eased some recession fears in the near term. Right, job creation was about uh, 50,000 more than Correct. expected and the unemployment rate uh, ticked up a little bit but it's still very strong at 3.6 percent something like that. Um, so how did that translate into the municipal and new issue market? Uh, what kind of activity we saw? It's still a lot of volume. I know this week uh, Bomb Buyer reported that October finished up at 52 billion dollars of new issue volume which was a lot higher than anybody would have predicted earlier mm -hmm. this year. Um, last week was a little bit quieter, 10 billion dollars, a little bit less than that uh, total. Uh, what did you see on BAM's front? Uh, it was a little bit quieter in the market overall this week but for BAM we had another solid week with pricing $266 million of par insured. Um, anchoring that activity, we had four California school district transactions totaling roughly $89 million of insured par. Um, though that included a $30 million transaction for Stockton USD with Hutchinson Chalky and a $27 million transaction for Oxnard USD with Raymond James. Okay, and I know also in the Green Star side, we had our first Green Star transaction in Utah for the Mountain Regional Water Special Service District. That was uh, $30 million underwritten by uh, Wells Fargo. And there was also the Denton County Freshwater Supply District number seven down in Texas, another Texas Green Star. So we're still uh, seeing activity down there. Yeah. Um, so looking ahead, going not uh, not losing any pace going into November. I think it's thirteen billion dollars on the IPO calendar for next week. Uh, what kind of transactions are you seeing? So we actually had another strong week of fund flows, with Lipa reporting their forty-third consecutive week of inflows. Uh, this week it was another one point two billion, and that brings our year-to-date total to seventy-five billion. Um, this week, BAM is slated to price roughly $250 million of par insured, which will be highlighted by a City of Yonkers transaction for roughly $150 million, and that will be underwritten by First Horizon Financial. And we've got a lot of other video content on the BAM uh, channel on YouTube this week. Uh, Juliet Steele is going to do a Credit Insights video on the City of Yonkers. Alex Weissman did a Credit Insights video on that Mountain Regional Water transaction from Utah, so you can see both of those. We also have a great interview with Clarence Anthony, the CEO of the National League of Cities. NLC put out their annual City Fiscal Condition survey this week and so uh, he discusses the findings there. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. Will you get paid if an earthquake puts your municipal bond investment on shaky ground? Yes. Double A guaranteed. Is your municipal bond investment safe even if the next recession reduces public revenues? Yes. Double A. Guaranteed. BAM Municipal Bond Insurance protects against everything, from natural disaster and recession to fraud or cyber attack. BAM. 